Hello everyone, this is Siddhant Ray here. This is part 4 of the series of Basics of Python Programming Language. This part of the series covers logical operators, while loops and for loops. So, without any further ado, let's begin coding. So, let's understand the first part of today's video, which is logical operators. So, what are logical operators? So, logical operators are, they, they just used to check if two or more statements are following a given set of conditions or not and uh, examples of logical operators could include and and uh, or so let's try to understand logical operators with a very straightforward example so let's define a variable temperature i'll explain you why i'm defining this variable in just a moment so the temperature will obviously take input values i mean integer values and then we'll define an input function where it'll ask what is the temperature today now as we know it's, it's it, the june month is going on in certain parts of the world is the winter season and in certain parts of the world it's summer season so a parent would not want their kid to go out to play if the temperature is below a particular degree because otherwise it'll be too cold. And that same parent would not want their kid to go out and play if the temperature is too hot. For example, if the temperature is 40, 45 degrees and the parent would not want their kid to go out and play. So let's make a code for that wherein it will determine the logic, wherein it will determine whether the parent should allow the kid outside to go and play or, or go and play or not based on logical operators. So let's make an if function. So over here, we'll be using the or logical operator. So if temperature is less than zero or the temperature is greater than 30, print child, you are not going to play outside today. And else, print child, you may go out, play, and have fun. So, this code is extremely basic. So, well, I, I just forgot the colon here because after every else and uh, else and if statement, you're supposed to put in a colon. So, uh, what this code does is it, it, I've defined a temperature variable over here. So whenever I run the code in the, in the terminal, it'll print this out. What is the temperature today? Then the user puts in the temperature. And if the temperature detected is less than zero or the temperature detector is greater than 30, it will print child. You're not going to play outside today. Otherwise, if the temperature is between zero and 30, then the child can go out and play today. So let's run the code and understand this. So if the temperature is, for example, 35 degrees. So because the temperature is 35 and because the temperature is greater than 30, it, it's extremely hot. So the child is not allowed to play outside today. Similarly, if we put in the example as negative three degrees, then again, it's too cold because the temperature is less than zero. That's why the child is not allowed to go out and play today. Now let's try something else. If the temperature is 25 degrees. So because the temperature is moderate, and the temperature is between 0 and 30, the child can be allowed to go out and play today because the temperature is fine. And, and, and because the temperature is between 0 and 30, and it follows the else condition because of which this statement is printed and the child is allowed to go and play today. Now, let's understand the AND logical operator. So, the AND logical operator can be explained in a very similar manner to the OR operator. So, if the temperature is less than 0, so if the if, let's change the code if the temperature is greater than zero and the temperature is less than 30 then the child is allowed to go out and play today so we just cut this and we'll paste it over here since the code completely changes and else you print child you are not going outside today the temperature 
is extreme because we don't know if the temperature is hot or cold so we just write extreme so now let's understand this code it's, it's again extremely basic since it's basic logic so over here if the temperature is greater than 0 and the temperature is less than 30 that means the temperature can fall only within the bracket of 0 and 30 it can't be greater than it can't be less than 0 and it can't be greater than 30 if the temperature is great less than 0 or greater than 30 the else condition starts working and it'll print out child you're not going outside to play today because the temperature is extreme and because it follows falls in the else loop and if the temperature is around like 20 25 degrees and because it falls within this when the temperature is greater than 0 and less than 30 so 25 is obviously greater than 0 and less than 30 the temperature is moderate and the and the print statement is under the if loop and because the because in 25 degrees the if statement is followed the statement is printed and the child is allowed to go out and play today so let's just test out the code so uh, I, as i mentioned let, let's just put in 25 and check so because the temperature is 25 and the temperature because the temperature is 25 it, it follows the if loop where the temperature is greater than 0 and less than 30 that's why the child is allowed to go out and have fun but similarly let's put in minus 3 oh we have to run it again let's put in minus 3 so the child you're not allowed you're not going outside today the temperature is extreme and if we put in for example 45 degrees again it's too hot and the temperature is greater than 30 so it follows the else loop else condition so because of that the child is not allowed to go outside today because the temperature is extreme so that was it for logical operators this is one of the easiest topics in python programming language because it's extremely simple and straightforward logic now let's move on to the while loops so now let's understand the concept of while loop so i just comment out this piece of code so that it doesn't interfere with our code oh. yeah now uh, i'll explain what while loops are so while loops they essentially it's a statement that executes a block of code as long as the block of the code holds true let's understand this with an example so because because the name is while loop we'll use the while function so while for example uh, the number 4 it is equal to 4 right so while 4 is equal to 4 it will print 4 is equal to 4 and I am stuck in a loop so let's run the code and check how this works as you can see it is just running and it's printing while 4 is equal to 4 I'm stuck in a loop Let, let's stop the code other than hang my computer so now because um, 4 is always equal to 4 that's mathematically correct and even in the python programming languages condition holds true so as I explained it's a statement that executes a block of code as long as the block of code holds true so because this block of code holds true it is running the statement so it, it was pretty simple right because 4 is equal to 4 so while 4 is equal to 4 it just keeps on printing and then after that we get an error stating that there was an there was a keyboard interruption because we are not supposed to stop the code because the code is in a while loop and 4 will always continue to remain 4. now let's understand an example where the while loop is false so while 4 is equal to 5 then and then we have to define an else function because the because actually there won't be an else function because there's no f function over here We'll, we'll just escape the while loop and then we'll just print out 4 is not equal to 5. I am not getting stuck in this loop again. So let, let's see if this code works. So as you can see, because 4 is not equal to 5, it just printed out 4 is not equal to 5. I'm not getting stuck in this loop again so that was it for while loops now let's move on to the topic of for loops so now let us understand the uh, for loops so what for loops and while loops are the major difference between for loops and while loops are so while loops they are unlimited and for loops they are limited so within while loops you can within while loops like we observed before 
while four is equal to is equal to five. So you can't like give a stopping condition, but within for loops, since we had observed in the last video as well in the concepts of index within for loops, you can set predefined indexes, which could be used as a stoppage to stop the for loops. So let's understand for loop with an example. So let me just write this piece of code for index in range. Let me just write 20 and print index. And let me run this code. Uh, you have to run the current file. And if you run the code, oh, you have to put in the colon over here. Now, if I run this code, I'll just get all the indexes from uh, from 1 to 20, which is basically 0 to 19 because the index always has 0 inclusive and the last number exclusive. So because 20 is the final number, it's the, the, you can't print 20 because 20 is exclusive. What if I want to print 20, I'll just 20 plus 1 or I could, I, could just put a, I, could just, yeah, I could just have put 21 over there so that I cannot print 20 from 0. And what if I don't want to print the 0, I can just start it off from 1. And then I can just do one over here and uh, this will be semicolon, uh, comma, and uh, this will also be comma. And now uh, it will print from 1 to 20. So uh, this was just a basic uh, revision of index. So this is the starting index. This is the stopping index, which is always exclusive. And this is the step, which is basically the gap between the first index and the, and the succeeding index after that. And then this just prints out whatever index is there till the uh, till the for loop ends. Now uh, let's understand uh, for loops using. Uh, let's make a actual real life code using for loops uh, with the help of the time module. So uh, I'll just comment this piece of code out. So I'll import the time module. This is, this is a pre-installed module in Python or, or it's a pre-installed library in Python. And uh, when I import time, I'll, I'll so for example, uh, uh, Christmas is on 25th December, right? So uh, what if we are all currently, the time is 24 December, the date is 24 December and the time is 11.59, 40 seconds. So let me make a for loop for that. So for seconds, in range 20 comma 0 comma minus 1 i would print out the number of seconds and i would give a time dot sleep for one second so uh, i'll just under explain the code in a while and then when it ex escapes the for loop i will print out we wish you a merry christmas we can't say happy new year because 25th December is not happy new year. So yeah. So now let me explain this code to you. So I've imported time, which is a predefined library in Python. Now let's understand this for loop. So this might seem complicated, but it's actually a very easy for loop. So four seconds in range. So it starts off with the 20th second. So let, let's go line by line. So four seconds in range, 20 to zero to minus one. So 20, it prints out 20 first. Then it sleeps for one second. So if you if you would know, if you know Arduino, the, the code is delay because uh, the, the word delay speaks for itself. So sleep here means that the code stops for one second. Then it again starts the for loop. So because the step here is minus one, now it will again check. So this one this will eventually automatically within the code become nineteen, and then again nineteen will be printed. The code will sleep for one second. Then it'll go back again. This will automatically become 18. Then again, 18 will be printed. Then the code will break for a second. Then eventually after that, it'll become 17, 16, 15, so on and so forth. So finally, when it is reaching three, for example, so printed three, slept for one, then again printed two. So it, it became two, slept for one, then became printed one, slept for one. Now it has realized that it has already reached zero and the step is minus one. But we know that zero is exclusive. So it will print seconds, which is one. It will sleep for one second. It will enter the for loop again and it'll notice that it, it's already it, it, the, the, the termination. It's already terminated because the condition was only from 20 to one because the zero is exclusive because this is the stopping index then it will eventually escape this for loop because this 
code has been satisfied and it'll print out we wish you a merry christmas so let's run the code and you'll understand what i just explained 20 19 18 17 as you can see it keeps on coming off every one one second due to this piece of code 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 we wish you a merry christmas so as you all saw it did not print out zero because zero is the stopping index instead of zero we wanted it to print we wish you a merry christmas because christmas begins at the zeroth second or christmas begins at the zeroth second of 25th december so that's why at one immediately after one it stopped for a second and it printed off we wish you a merry christmas so that was actually it for four loops now uh, i'll see you guys in the next video in the next video our topic will be mainly nested loops and if you guys like the video please smash the like button also please do subscribe to my youtube channel sidan's coding world see you soon everyone bye for now